Hi guys, so today I have a um, favorites video for you. Sorry, I'm a little off. I'm a little sick, so that's why I sound like this. But yeah, I have a favorites video. These are some products that I found myself using every single day, if not every single day, every other day, or whenever the hell I use makeup because I don't put on makeup every day. But yeah, I thought I wanted to share with you my top favorites for March and April, whatever. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing, my absolute favorite thing right now is BOW! My L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and I got it in the shade 105. I love this foundation. It is just life. It says medium coverage, but I think it's a full coverage for me. Whatever. But I love this. It's like so matte and I have like oily skin so I tend to get oily right here and sometimes here and my nose especially. And it just like sucks it all up and it is amazing you guys. Like I'm telling you it is bomb. Like I love this freaking foundation. Yeah and I think I'm gonna have to buy another one soon but yes I love this foundation. So next up since we're talking about foundation my next favorite is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Foundation in the color 235 Pure Beige. I love this foundation. This one is the Dewy Smooth one. I don't know why I got this because I am a oily ass person. Like I be looking like a fry pan sometimes. That like, you could, yeah, you could fry bacon on my face sometimes. Like I'm that oily. And but you know what? I do have days where I'm dry. My skin is so confusing. Like whatever. What I do get that day, those days that I'm dry. I tend to use this and it just makes you look so dewy and nice. I love the way it makes you look but it just, for me it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't work out because sometimes I am oily at times but when I do, when I do feel like my face is dry, I use this and I just love the way it makes me look and yeah, it makes you look so nice and glowy and pretty, I love it. The next thing I love, 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 oh my god, I would never give it up, is just my Pond's face cream, like... <sighs> It's nice. It's so pretty. Oh god, I love it. It smells amazing. Like <sighs> it smells so nice and fresh. And every time you just wash your face, you put this on, and your skin is automatically moisturized. And a little bit goes a long way. If you put too much, you're gonna look oily and shiny. But a little bit goes a long way with this. I love the way this thing makes my skin feel and look. So I would always use this before putting on foundation. This is my primer right here. This is my. Oh. The next thing that I have been loving so far is this brush by Tarte and I think this is just a buffer brush and I showed it in my haul and it is just so soft. It is so good like oh it buffs in your foundation so well. I don't know what I'm doing because I'm not wearing foundation today because my skin has been very irritated so I just decided not to wear foundation. Oh well. Whatever. So yeah, I've been loving this brush. This brush retails for about $34, but I got it for free. So I love this brush. And yes, it's perfect for foundation. It buffs it all in and it just feels amazing on your skin. So the next thing I've been loving is my NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palette. And it looks like this. It's I use it every time in my videos. I mean, it's just awesome. Like, I've been using this shade a lot this um second shade right here and i use that under my eyebrow and then i don't use any of these other colors i just use it for that but i love it anyway so yeah and this is in the color light i love this love this and yeah it was a gift i love it so much I thing i've been completely obsessed with like oh my god yeah this is life this shit is life for real like that ass that's life boo is my bow Anastasia Glow Kit in that Glean Girl. I love it. I think everything I showed in my haul is gonna be in this video. But I love this. Oh my god, it makes you glow for real. It makes you glow, girl. I be looking like a glow ball. You know what that is? A glow ball. Mad glowy. Yeah. I love this shit. I love this shit. Nah, but I love this. It's awesome. It makes you glow in the right places and it is so amazing. I just, you get your money's worth. It's four big, like, big highlighters. They're huge. They're huge and you get four of them for $40. So that's just like 10 bucks each. That's good. For Anastasia, that's great. So instead of buying, like, So Hollywood or whatever, 
just get this one or a matter of fact you like so hollywood get the that glow kit because that one has a shade called starburst i think it's called oh no this this is starburst it has a shade in there that looks like so hollywood and it looks very nice but i have this one because it makes me look nice that shade does not show up on my skin so i like this one better the next thing I've been completely obsessed with too, I've been completely obsessed with all of these things, but I love my Anastasia Contour Kit in Light to Medium. It's just the regular powder form because I'm still new to makeup. I don't know how to use cream products, so yeah, I I love this. Like, it's life. It's life. I use this one to contour with my cheeks and everything, but sometimes when I am tan, I will use these two. And then I use this to set my concealer, and then I just don't use these two colors right here. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they're for, but I don't use them. So the next thing I've been loving is my beauty blender. <laughs> it's a little dirty right now because I used it the other day, but I love my beauty blender. And I have, you know, like, when I first started doing makeup, I bought, like, this cheap little sponge. And this shit sucks. Like, it's nothing compared to this one. This one is just so soft, and then this one is hard and ugh. I love this one it just like gets in the right places and you could just blend out your concealer and all that it is <sighs> I love this is worth the $20 so I love my beauty blender next favorite thing is my Anastasia dip brow pomade in ebony I think I'm gonna get the dark brown pomade or medium brown but I just love this thing it just makes my eyebrows look so nice it doesn't look fake it doesn't make your eyebrows look fake or anything but I love this it is so 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 worth the money it's only like $18 but it is so worth the money I love it and it's just wow it's awesome next I think this is my absolute favorite palette in the whole world right now like hands down it has to be my absolute favorite palette right now but my morphe 350 palette yes I am so obsessed with this freaking palette I use this every single day like I don't know if you guys have that problem but I do that I use a specific palette like every single day and this this is good for every single day because it's a neutral palette so I love this palette I use it every single day literally every single day another thing that I'm obsessed with is this NYX matte bronzer and I got this in the color medium it is just like the nice a nice little bronzer it doesn't have any shimmer of course it's matte but it looks so nice like it gives you that nice warm bronze like look right there like a little nice warm bronzy look it looks nice it doesn't look like it's too much and it's just very subtle i love it for when i have the soft days and i don't want to look crazy you know but i love it it's very nice and it's only like i don't know how much this was it was a gift so yeah i love it okay so the next product i have that i'm absolutely in love with is this liquid lipstick by anastasia in the color vintage i love this lipstick i wore it in my haul and i showed it in my haul and i just love the color it looks so so nice i love it i just i want to really try the ashton one if you have ashton let me know because i want to try it i think it'll look nice on me i don't know if it will look nice but i hope it does but i've been loving this lipstick it just makes your lips look so so bold and so so pretty i love it i love it and my next lipstick my next slippy is the kat von d liquid lipstick in lolita i love this i'm wearing it on my lips right now and yes yes girl yes my next favorite lippies are from mac and this one is captive i love this lipstick i, think I use it every single day i'm like yeah i'm obsessed with this lipstick I love it. I used it every single day. It was like my go-to lipstick. And then I have Whirl. I haven't used Whirl because I'm a little scared to put on nudes with my skin. I don't know. I just don't feel like nudes look nice on me. But I'm going to give it a try. So, I have so my absolute favorite lipstick from MAC right now is Sin. And it's a MAC color. It looks just like media actually. But it's just matte. I love this lipstick color. Oh my god. It's just my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. It is my all-time favorite. I just love the color. It looks like a dark wine red. It's just so sexy. It makes you oh god, I love the color so much. Now I want to show you some things that I'm a little bit iffy about. And yeah, I wanted to share with you since I'm showing you my favorites. I want to show you my things that I'm really on the, you know, eh. 
about it. I'm a little confused about it. I don't know if I like it or not. So the first thing I'm a little confused about is this Naked Illuminator. Illuminated by Urban Decay. And I got the one, the color Luminous. And it looks like this is just very, sorry. It's just very, very, I don't know, I don't know what to do. It says, I got this as a, as a highlighter. So it's, you could use it for your face and body, but I got this for my face. I don't know why I got this for my face. I think you could just use it for your body. Like when you want like a little shimmer on your, your body, you could use it. I love this for the body, but I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could use this for my face because it's just so freaking shimmery. I just, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have this because if you do, then yeah. I don't know. I'm a little eh, about it. Next thing I'm really iffy about, oh God, this is so hard, is my Naked 3 palette. I'm a little iffy about this palette because, okay, let me just take out the brush. Okay, I'm a little iffy about this palette because it is a nice palette. I fell in love with all the colors when I seen them, but I just feel like they lack pigmentation. Like, I really do feel like they lack pigmentation. And it's just... I don't know. I like some of the colors here. Trick, I like Trick, I like um Dust, I like Burnout, but I do not like most of them. And most of them just don't show up. Like they, I don't know what to do with this. I, I'm just like so confused about this palette and this is such a disappointment because I paid $54 for this fucking palette and it's just I expected way better than this. Urban Decay, I expected better, you know? It's not bad but I expected better from them. So yeah. The next thing I'm a little bit iffy about is this eyeliner. You know, I've been using, if you watch me, I used my Sephora liquid eyeliner and I just got this and this one first of all is fucking hard to take off because it's waterproof second of all like sometimes it's just very like i don't know if it's this one but it just shows up as sheer and then when you put the brush in it just picks up so much product i don't know i'm a little iffy about it i use it because hello i don't have nothing else for now and i haven't gone to sephora so far so i have to use this but i don't know i'm a little iffy about this so Another product that I'm a little bit iffy about is this Milani lipstick. It's called Matte Naked 61 and it looks like this. And it's just like um your regular nude color but it doesn't pop on my lips. It just looks like my regular lip color and there's like no fucking point of wearing my lipstick then because it just looks like my lip color. But I don't know. I'm a little iffy about this. I think I need to just play around with it. Put like a little dark light lip liner around it and see how it looks. Okay, now moving on to the products that are just a no-go for me, okay? These products just do not work for me. If they work for you, good for you, but they don't work for me, so they suck on my behalf. So, the first thing I have is some lip products that just fucking suck. And the first lip product is this e.l.f. Matte Lip Color. And it is in the color Coral, and it just, oh my god, like what the fuck? Oh, this thing looks so pretty when you swatch it like so pretty when you swatch it right but it just looks so ugly on my lips and it make it's just too sheer first of all it says matte but it's sheer it, it flakes I do not like it it flakes it's sheer and it just sucks I don't like this lip product. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to give it to somebody. My mom doesn't even like it. I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to throw it out because it's a waste of makeup. I know it looks nice on somebody, but I don't know what to do with it. I don't like it. It's just very ugly, <laughs> and I don't like the way it looks on me. Okay, so the next lip product I have is by Revlon, and this is their cream lipstick. Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the color Wink for Pink. Mm. That's what it looks like. It is so freaking horrible. The formula is just no, no. It feels like you're putting on a lip balm with a little bit of tan, and that's it. That's all I have to say about this. That's it. The next lipstick that I have is from NYX, and this is the NYX matte lipstick in the color Hippie Chick. I love their matte lipstick. It's just like I feel like this one. 
does not look right on me. I don't know. I don't feel like these bright colors look nice on me at all. It's just my preference. I don't think it looks nice with the way I look. You know, my skin tone. It doesn't look nice on me. It makes me look like I just ate powdered donuts. And the same thing goes for this. J Cat lipstick in the color Sandy Orange. Oh my god. What the hell is this? Like... <sighs> Ew. Okay. They gave me this for free. In Optima Beauty in Queens. And this is just horrible. I appreciate the free gift. But this makes me look really dusty. Like powdered donuts for real. Okay. So the next thing I have as a lip product is this NYX lip primer. And it's supposed to prime your lips for, you know, lipstick and stuff and good shit like that. But no, it does not do that. It just there's no difference if you put it on with the shit and without it is no difference. Okay. That's all I have to say about that. The next thing I have that I do not like is this Physicians Formula Light Bronze Pearl Mineral Glow Palette. And it looks like this. Oh, okay. It looks like this. I don't like this because it's just very... It is too subtle for me. Like, it's it's a highlight, whatever, and a bronzer and one. But it's just too subtle. You can barely see it on my skin. I just don't like it at all. That's all I have to say. The next thing I do not like, I don't like this at all, is this e.l.f. blush in mauve. Mellow mauve, I think. Yeah, mellow mauve. Mmm. You get what you pay for. This is only $3, and this color does not pop up. Oh my god, like... Yo, this shit don't pop up, for real. Like, this is the worst blush I've ever tried. This is the worst blush. And the last but not least that I hate is this Maybelline Master Cake something. I don't know. I think this is an eyeliner. It looks like this. It's a weird shape to it. But I don't like it. I don't like the formula. I don't like what it does. It just stay on your eyelids. I just don't like it at all. No. Okay, love. So that was my video. That was my top favorites and my top horrible products <laughs> and stuff that i'm in between about i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys in my next one bye